I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. A series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We got a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. First myth of the day isn't actually a question, challenge, or myth. It's more of just a comment on how I pronounce one of the students' names, and specifically Midori Gurin. It says, by the way, Midori Gurin is pronounced Midori Green, but with a Japanese accent. Okay, so it's pronounced in like a stereotypical Japanese accent. So, Gurinu! Her name is Midori Gurinu! Hello, Midori Gurinu! You are fucking dead! You hear that girl? Her name is Midori Gurinu! You know that Oka? Gurinu! Her name is fucking Gurinu! It's Gurinu! Yeah, come chase me, motherfucker! Oh my god! Die! Oh, uh, weak ass pussy boy! Come chase me, girl! Yeah, you can't catch up to me. Oh shit, she can! But it doesn't matter, you know why? Because her name is Midori Gurinu! Okay, so there you have it, guys. Her name is not pronounced Gurin, it's actually pronounced Gurin. So, just remember that, guys. If you play Yandere Simulator in the future, on to the next one. Next myth of the day is... Make a teacher or student pin you down in the occult room and press snap. See if maybe the devil can help you? Well, I mean, we've tried everything that we can, so we might as well do that, right? Let's just pick a random person. I'm tired of picking on Kakona and Oka. Not gonna go for Saki, she's always my mind slave. Not gonna go for you. Who's coming down there? Just some fuckboys? Oh, and more fuckboys on the other side? Uh, let's go with this red-haired guy. Let's just, you know, keep it, uh, keep it cool. Follow me. And I'm gonna use some scissors, cause I'm about to cut a bitch up. And just follow me behind this building. I really need to show you something. Am I gonna show you my breasts? Am I gonna lift up my skirt a little bit? Nope, I'm about to cut you up! <laughs> Alright, drag that and show the teacher show and tell time! Okay, here's the teacher! There we go. Oh my god, go, 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 go! Oh fuck! Alright, make it down the stairs! We can do this, guys! We can avoid the teacher! Oh my god, this is gonna be so scary. She's gonna pop up out of nowhere and just surprise motherfucker me. I know she is. She always does that. She has a habit of doing it. She's just gonna do it. I know she is. Oh my god, come on, make it to the occult club, baby. Just do it! We got this! Okay, there we go. Let's put it in cinematic mode, just cuz. And then, there we go. Come on, teacher. Come on, teacher, there you go. Yeah. Pin me down the occult club, baby. Give it to me, doggy style. Expelled. And it shows that screen looking all weird. And I believe Snap is right behind her body. It's kind of weird. Okay, Snap is right there. Clicking on it. Am I clicking on it? See, I'm clicking on Snap. It's like right next to her JJ. if you guys cannot see it. And nothing is going on. All right, maybe being in cinematic mode wasn't the greatest idea. So we're going to get this guy to come follow us. And I'll go with the screwdriver. You know, we haven't used that in a while. It hasn't been in many people's throats. And it's long overdue for one. So just follow me behind here. And fwa bam Boom. There we go. Teleport to the roof. And let's just wait for her to come over here. And then Stop we are going right to run... Now. To the occult club without going into cinematic mode so we can just access snap you know easier than what we did last time there she is and right before she gets me boom okay come on go 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 you can make it to the occult club do not jump scare me teacher do not be a dick and scare me i'm gonna try to go fast oh shit oh my god she's gonna come get me i know she is please we got this guy oh my god there she is oh fuck get in there get in there oh my god okay there we go good pin me down girl yeah, make the devil come up from the ground. No, nothing. Okay. Well, we gotta press snap first, right? And nothing. Why am I not surprised? Well, obviously a teacher or student pinning you down in the occult room and pressing snap doesn't do jack shit. I'm not even gonna try to get a student to pin me down because the only ones that can do that are martial arts kids if you don't have a weapon in your hand, and I don't feel the need to do that because I'm pretty sure that that one wasn't gonna work, but you never know. You never really know if something works unless you try it. On to the next one. Next myth of the day is, start a fight with one of the heroic students after killing someone. Don't let them beat you and don't kill them. Keep fighting until a student gets a teacher. See what the teacher does. Oh, okay, okay, I see what you mean. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the teacher's pet to follow us. Right over here, so come follow us out here, and yeah, here we go, perfect. Get him to stop, and then get another guy to follow us, let's get her to follow us. There, follow me please, and come on, hopefully he sees this, he sees this, no, he's not gonna see it, damn it. Alright, bring you out here, we'll do it again. What the hell are you doing, girl? Yeah, follow me over here. There we go, 
and then stop. And I gotta go get the teacher's pet now. The reason why I'm doing this is because if a martial arts kid sees me right away, he's gonna fight me. And it kind of just freezes time. Like, no other students react while I'm in that fighting sequence. I've tried it before, and it's basically like all time stand still kind of thing. So, oh, damn it, I killed the wrong guy. Okay, let's try this again. Let's get Pippi this time. Follow me, and I'm gonna lead you all the way out here so you walk slowly back into the room once I tell you to stop following me. There you go. And then stop, and I'll race you back over to the school. Bet you're not gonna make it. Okay. We are gonna get this guy to witness the murder. I accidentally killed him. That was me. I was on some fuckboy shit right there. And then you are gonna get that. Come on, teacher's pet. Do your thing. Go run and tell the teacher. Hurry up. There you go, I have to tell the teacher. Of course you do. What in the fuck are you doing? Why are you running into her? Thank you! My god! That teacher's pet had one job. One job. Alright, there we go. Okay, let's uh, get into a fight with this guy. Come on, martial arts kid, come get me. Oh my god, it had to be Budo! It had to be fucking Budo! Okay, I'm not gonna kill him. Ah! No! Budo, I'm that dude! Oh fuck, Budo's that dude! Budo's that fucking dude! Oh no, shit, where's the teacher? The teacher's not even noticing me! Notice me, Senpai teacher! Notice me! Fuck! No! This is a trap. Why would anyone do this? Uh, okay, let's retry that one. I really want There's to know if the teacher I'll tackles you as you're fighting with a martial away. arts kid. Let's try it one more time. Alright, Saki, you're the closest one to me, so follow me and I'll lead you over here to the promised land. Come on, girl. Alright, there we go. Let's stop those shenanigans. I forgot to get a weapon. Get the scissors. Oh shit, Saki's hurrying. No, 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 no. Come on, teacher's pets. Yes, follow me. Hurry! You gotta witness this! You gotta witness this! Yeah! Oh, fuck! Budo! No, Budo, no! Oh my god, Budo, fuck you, Budo! Oh shit, Budo's about to die? Budo's about to get it? Oh! I killed the martial arts master! How you like that? How you like that, Budo? Come on, Budo. Let's be real here, boy. Come on, Budo. Look at Budo. Does he look like a martial arts master? He looks like a martial arts fuckboy. And now the teacher's pet is running again in place. Okay, where's the teacher at? I'm gonna try to fight a martial arts kid once I see the teacher. So let's do this. I'm gonna stab her once I see the teacher come across the hall. No, wait. No, no. Senpai's over there. Uh-oh. Is there any martial arts kids here? Oh, there you go. Oh, come on, martial arts kid. There we go. Come on, teacher. Where's the teacher at? Oh my god, here. Let me try not to kill her. See if I can get the teacher to come here. Nope. They're all walking away. Are you kidding me? There's like a fight going on. One bloody girl and one martial arts kid who's about to die. Whatever. Let me end her life real quick. There we go. I don't get why the teacher's not coming. What the hell? Where is the teacher? Oh, shit. God damn it. Really? <gasps> Wait, what? No. What the hell? Wow. That's weird. No. <laughs> okay, I got pinned down as I was fighting. And then I stood back up and finished the fight. And then got re-pinned down. What is this, some kind of wrestling match? Did I lose? Is it like a referee counting to three or something? Well, whatever. When you fight a martial arts kid, basically it's kind of like a time standstill kind of thing where other events outside of the fight aren't really happening. So I don't think a teacher can do anything while you're fighting a martial arts kid. So that one is debunked. On to the next one. Next myth of the day is the game will freeze if someone sees you with a sedated body. Okay, we'll see. So now we need to just have a girl with us. We're just going to pick any random girl. You know what? I'm going to go for one of the Bastu sisters. I'm tired of picking on everybody else, so... We're gonna wait for them to come up. There she is, on her phone, probably texting all her side bays. And go to sleep! There we go. Make sure the Z's are over her head. There we go, she is sleeping. And since we can't open the door, we have to teleport. Come on, make sure the body comes here. God, it always does that at first. Alright, Midori? Hi! Is the game gonna freeze? Oh my god, this can't be happening! What, is the game gonna freeze or not? Get away from you! She's sleeping! Come on, it's not like she's dead or anything. What about the teacher? Let's see the teacher's reaction. No? How could you? How could I what? She was sleeping! I'm helping a friend out! Stop right Whatever! Now. That's bullshit! You know what? I'm gonna fast forward the time. I'm gonna see what happens. Oh, we got one more minute. One more minute till we get to go home. Oh shit. Okay. Ooh! Let's go in the front. And hurry up. 
All right, let's see what they say. The police arrive at school. The police are unable to locate any corpses on school grounds. The police discover a syringe that is stained with the blood of Sakubasu. The police find Yandere Chan's fingerprints on the weapon. Yandere Chan is arrested by the police. She will never have senpai. All right, you guys might be wondering why I fast forwarded time and got the police to come. Because obviously the game didn't crash. So I just wanted to see what the police would say if I was carrying around a sedated girl. Obviously nothing happened. The game didn't crash. On to the next one. Next myth of the day is take Saki to be your mind slave. Throw Kakona in the furnace. Give Saki the knife. Can Saki kill Kakona or just walk around the furnace like an idiot? Well, let's test that out. First, we gotta get Saki as our mind slave. There we go. Fast forward time so we get to see Saki's beautiful mind slave face. All right, perfect. So now I just need to do a couple things. I need to get Kakona and her big titty committee ass to follow us. Come on. There we go. Follow us, please. Oh, God, Senpai, why does that always happen? Come on. I'm looking at the back of his head. Is it really that, you know, heart-stopping? Get this. Get that. And I need to invite you to the luxurious kidnapping room. Come here, Kakona. Enjoy your stay over here. And hopefully, you have a great night's sleep, okay? Sleep tight. Okay. Now that she's there, we are going to teleport real quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Why is this happening? You know what? This is the bad place to teleport. We are going to teleport right here. Perfect. Where is she? All right, she's still over there in the map. Can you stop dancing around, Kakona? We got no time for this. We have to debunk these myths. So I need you to just cooperate, please, with your long, stretchy arms. <gasps> oh, my God. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to do this. I'm going to lead you to there just like this. It'll be perfect. As long as you keep holding on to my hand, just never let go, please. Never let go all the way to the furnace. Shit. You got to be fucking kidding me. All right, there we go. Perfect. We're going to go over to the furnace. No, no, no. She's not dead. She's sleeping. She's not dead, teacher. All right. We got 20 seconds to go. Dump her in there. Come on. The police are almost here. Give Saki the weapon. Come on. Go. Fuck. I didn't even know there was a counter. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. No. There. She's not doing anything. She's not even doing anything. Okay. So we debunked this myth just in time. Saki is not doing shit. She's just standing there. The police arrive at school. Let's see what they say. The police are unable to locate any corpses on school grounds. The police discover a syringe that is stained with the blood of Kokona Haruka. The police find Yandere Chan's fingerprints on the weapon. Of course! Yandere Chan is arrested by the police. She will never have senpai. Okay, so that myth is debunked. If you throw Kokona in the furnace and give Saki the knife, Saki will just stand there. She won't try to attempt to murder her in the furnace or like circle around the furnace or anything. On to the next one. Kill Oka in the occult club with white gloves on. I promise you'll see something creepy. Challenge accepted. We are going to fast forward time to the end of class. Okay, so now it's the end of class. We are going to go get the white gloves and go to the occult club. I actually have some of my own theories on how to get those hands to rise from the ground in the occult club. I know you guys have seen that already in Yandere Dev's video, but... Even though I have my own theories about it, I don't think that it's programmed yet. It's just a little teaser, guys, so I'm pretty sure nothing's gonna work, but you never know. Sometimes, you might be able to unlock an Easter egg, like when we did the police one, where they're at the front gate. I'm actually just gonna get a random weapon right over here. I'm gonna get a katana for your mama, and we're gonna make our way to the occult club. Okay, we are just gonna wait here with our katana for Oka to come. There you are. No, 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 don't notice me. Close this up. And there you go. So we just need to kill her and something creepy will happen. Boom! With the white gloves on. What happened? What happened? What happened, Mr. Skull? Did something happen? Because I didn't see anything. I didn't see jack shit. Maybe I'm supposed to teabag her a couple times. Yeah? You like that? Maybe I'm supposed to put it in cinematic mode real quick. There we go. No? What are we doing? We ain't doing anything. Just teabagging Oko some more. Okay, so nothing creepy happened. Maybe I'm supposed to laugh after I kill her. <laughs> you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna fast forward time to the end of the day, put it in cinematic mode like this, and see if something happens. Kind of like the police Easter egg, you never know. So we're just gonna be around here, circling around here. Oh. And I can't move anymore. So time stopped. Yeah, nothing happened. All the music stopped. 
The candles are still flickering. Oak is still dead. I'm still standing there. And nothing happened. Oh, look, I hear the police music. You guys hear that? That's actually pretty creepy. Okay. Let me see if I can press anything to fast forward this stuff. Ah, and all the music still goes on as if you're watching the police arrival sequence. Yeah, nothing happens. No creepy sequence or creepy images or creepy audio happens. You kill Oka in the occult room with your gloves on and jack shit happens. On to the last myth of the day. What happens if you take a picture of a dead body after someone calls the police? Will they find the photos? I actually really like this question because nobody really uses the photos as evidence if the police come and I've never tried that before. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna get gloves in here so we don't get caught and then teleport to the roof because you know, Midori Gurin is the one who we can kill without anybody witnessing us. There we go. And now let's take a picture of this. Say cheese Midori. Boom. Save that one. And now we just gotta make our way to the bath and clean ourselves up. Let's throw away the gloves. Throw away the uniform. And last order of business is to throw away the knife and activate it. Oh man, somebody found the body up there, but whatever. Okay, before we fast forward time, let's make sure we have the picture in here. Photo gallery, and there we go. The photo is right here. Nice and crisp, you know, 1080p, right for the police to find. And now let's fast forward time and let's go home and see what happens. Yandere Chan stands at the school gate and waits for Senpai to leave school. While walking around the school, a teacher discovers a corpse. The teacher immediately calls the police. The teacher informs the rest of the faculty about her discovery. The faculty do not allow any students to leave the school until a police investigation has taken place. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse from Midori Gurin. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question Yandere Chan, but cannot link her to any crimes. What about my cell phone? Why don't you look through my photos? The police do not have enough evidence to perform an arrest. The police investigation ends and students are free to leave. Yandere Chan stalks Senpai until he has returned home safely, then returns to her own home. Well, that's some bull. I mean, I guess in Japan, what, you can't check people's, you know, photos? Whatever. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys want your comment, challenge, or myth potentially featured in the next episode, make sure that you write them in this comment section below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jake from the Cub Scouts is that dude!